Alright y'all, we'll be going outside here in a minute and shooting this uh, 2245 light. And, and as much as I hate it, there is some background information that you need to know in order to understand what this suppressor is capable and not capable of. Um, I'll be firing it, this pistol here, to let you see what it he sounds like without being suppressed and then shooting this to let you see what it sounds like suppressed um, and if you don't want to uh, sit through the little uh, bit of information here and just want to see it sh you know me shooting this just run ahead and you can see what it sounds like but for those that are interested in getting one of these things there's a lot of information that you really need to know about in order for it to um, be a success. <clears throat> I've got a bunch of ammo lined out here. This is Super Aguila. Um, it's rated at 375 feet a second. Uh, CB short at 727. Gemtech at 1020, 1025, 1050. 1070, 1095, and 1100. These are the different types of subsonic ammunition I've been able to assemble here. I won't be shooting at all, but um, sooner or later I will. Um, but you have to understand the speed of sound, I, th I think, is like 1125 at 68 degrees. If you're going to shoot on an extremely cold day it's even lower in other words um, this one here at 1095 this Aguila Super Extra it's subsonic on a, on a warm day but on a on a real cold day this would not be a subsonic this would be supersonic round so it, it changes and there are variables and to help you understand it, I put two links below. Uh, one of them is for this chart here, and it shows uh, the different manufacturers and the ratings in, at the muzzle in feet per second of the different types of rounds that they have. And you can go over there, and a lot of these um, people do not mark their boxes with the number of feet per second and this allows you to uh, look it up and see how many feet per second it is ideally you want it to just be able to cycle and still be subsonic now the one that I showed you in the previous video with the gloves on that was this Super Aguila it does not cycle um, I haven't tried the shorts in the uh, 1022 breakdown with the uh, short bolt but um, you want it to just cycle and still be subsonic I also put another link down there because sound is subjective you know it, it's what you hear but um, this tells you how many decibels each different everyday sound such as talking on the telephone or whisper in a library a jackhammer at 50 feet a hand drill a snowmobile motorcycle a power saw and so on it lets you know how many decibels there is the lowest decibel of course is zero and the highest is I think 190 um, or 100 the loudest sound possible is 194 decibels so, and it tells you which is comfortable to the ear, uh, OSHA standards, and so on. It's just something I found interesting. If you're going to understand how these things work, you really have to know all there is uh, about them, in my opinion. There, there's several sounds one of these things make. There's a sound of the bolt coming back and going forward. There's the sound at the muzzle and for supersonic rounds 
there's a sound on the other end if if you've ever had a, sl a slug or a, gr a bunch of slugs uh, go by your ear you know that it makes a pop when it goes by your ear then you hear the sound of the weapon going off because the bullet is traveling at faster than the speed of sound and it's gonna go by your head or, or wherever it's gonna go in your close proximity when it goes by you it's gonna pop again then you're gonna hear the weapon go off um, in a hunting situation if you've ever heard someone shoot a deer at several hundred yards you know that you hear a little teeny pop and then you hear the the weapon well that little pop is when that slug hits the animal and then followed by the um, the sound of the weapon going off and it sounds kinda like a um, a, a muzzle loader you hear the cap then the, the explosion well it's the same thing and it's the same principle and uh, the bullet you know it's if it's uh, traveling faster than the speed of sound speed of sound a bullet travels uh, a mile in five seconds I think and if it's traveling um, faster than the speed of sound it's gonna go by you before you hear the gun actually go off so uh, when you hear the gun go off uh, it's too late you know the bullets already <laughs> already uh, tagged you but anyway we're gonna be going outside we're gonna be shooting these things um, I also have an app which I, I don't really understand there's an app on this phone uh, that will measure the sound when we're out there I don't know that I'll be able to pull it off because it gets into logarithms and all kinds of stuff that's uh, way over my head but um, we'll see it'll be interesting but um, <clears throat> throughout the course of this little series on these things uh, we'll be uh, shooting all these different types of ammunition and um, for those of you interested in getting one of these I think you really need to understand exactly what's going on in order to appreciate the suppressor and it's going to be a lot of fun got a lot of different types of ammo here so let's go outside and we'll give this a shot uh, I equate this thing to about like a Benjamin pump and uh, you'll see that in a minute but it's considerably quiet than without it so it should be a fun uh, little test let's go shoot this thing all right y'all we're going to be firing this right now now these in both guns we have gym tech suppressor rounds subsonic 22 and we're going to see what it sounds like first of all without the suppressor I'm going to try and do this I'm not aiming at a target I'm just going to fire it down range and we'll have a look at it and see what it registered here we go that says 89 decibels which seems awful low to me now let's try the other one 89 would be around a train whistle at 500 feet now I'm gonna fire this one till my arm gets tired Let's see what it registers. See? I told you I didn't understand this stuff. That's 90 and that's bullshit. You know it and I know it. It's registering 60 over here on this graph. Yeah, it went up a little bit. 62. 
63, 64. You can hear it hitting the tree back there. That's 64. 64. So, it's quite a bit. You can hear them. You hear that ricochet back there? See, it's not registering here. It's registering over here. I'm just reading them off to you. And a 60 to a 65 is a telephone dial tone. So that's what you're getting when you fire one of these things. Boy, that was a ricochet. Uh, when you go slower, you're going to get a ricochet for whatever reason. I'm sure you've experienced that. But it's a slower feet per second you get ricochets quite often so you have to be kind of careful and uh, I think that's about all I wanted to show um, <clears throat> the first one was 90 decibels this is 60 for every two to three decibels that you increase the sound the sound actually is doubled your ear perceives it as a doubled sound so for every two to three in this case uh, say 30 you would well one of you mathematicians work it out for me I, I uh, you know it take me a while I don't have that time this thing's long enough but um, it reduced it by 30 so it reduced it by 700 percent uh, just off the top of my head, one of you mathematicians can tell me whether I'm right or wrong. But uh, that's what this suppressor sounds like with uh, Gemtech, 1,020 feet a second. And the first one was quite loud. <clears throat> and now I can go finish putting this video together. But I appreciate y'all watching. Catch you later. Bye.